All right, well, Senate Democrats clearly feeling this gas price heat right now, said to be uh, prepping a bill to end tax breaks for oil companies. Some of the so-called savings would then go to fund green energy programs to South Dakota Republican <laughs> Senator John Thune, who says this will only send those uh, prices at the pump higher. Senator, good to have you. It's good to be with you, Neil. Thanks. Um, it, it seems like we kind of get our eye off the ball when in the middle of this we're, we're, we're focused on the wrong problem and trying to maybe address an energy alternative that might or might not solve problems down the road, but we're talking significantly down the road. Right. Yeah, and what the Obama administration, as you mentioned, has proposed today is raising taxes on domestic energy production, which we don't need, and more cylinders, which we don't need. That's the foundation of the Obama energy strategy, and it will do nothing to lower prices at the pump. Uh, we need to have a view of energy in this country that uh, includes you know, all of the above, a real all of the above strategy that opens up areas of domestic production and puts downward pressure on prices. This really is a supply and demand issue which can be addressed, Neil, if we are simply willing to allow these areas in our country to be opened up to development. And unfortunately, the Obama administration will have nothing of that. Their strategy really is a none of the above uh, policy. They've said no to Keystone Pipeline. They've said no, no to ANWR, no to oil shale, uh, no to offshore production, no to streamlined permitting, no to more leases. Those are all things that would help ease the energy crunch in this country and get prices down for consumers. Um, you know, the president countered with our own Ed Henry not too long ago in a White House press conference that it would be crazy for a president to actually want higher gas prices and that it would be in his political interest to do anything and everything to bring them down. So if you were nothing more than a creature of that political beast, um, he, would, he would do all of the above. So why isn't he? That's what's really ironic about this, because the American people believe, there are a couple of polls out in just the last two days, they believe the president actually can influence energy prices in this country. Over 50% of Americans believe that. And there's probably no issue where there is a more direct and strong correlation between public policy and economic outcomes. If you produce more domestic energy, you drive down the price per gallon for consumers in this country, family, small businesses, and you also create more American jobs. And that's why when the president says he's for all of the above and is really for none of the above, it, it makes absolutely no sense to the American people. And I think right now the, the struggle that they're having in trying to defend these failed energy policies is that prices are on average higher today than they have been at any point in history and have literally doubled while he's been in office. And they could, there are so many things that they could do about well, that Chuck that they Schumer, aren't doing, starting with the Keystone New, Pipeline. Uh, your colleague from New York, Chuck Schumer, has said that the president should go uh, to the Saudis and demand they increase the production. Uh, former uh, Energy Secretary Richardson has said as much the same thing, that if you go to the OPEC guys and ask them to open the spigot, that'll do the trick. What do you say? I think that what Senator Schumer has proposed is literally the president, uh, the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton going right. hat in hand to the Saudis and asking them to produce two and a half more million gallons a day. We could produce in this country that amount simply by approving the Keystone Pipeline, opening up the North Slope of Alaska and the Eastern Gulf of Mexico. We could get to three million barrels, additional barrels a day. That's why these policies make no sense. And when the president says he wants to bring prices down, his policies say otherwise. And his his own Secretary of Energy, I think as you know, when he, before he took that job, said that we need to get our prices up the levels of the prices in places like Europe. Uh, it almost seems in a way that these, this administration volitionally, intentionally, is trying to get these prices up. And it absolutely makes no sense, no economic sense to American small businesses and American families, which is why I think the president is having a really difficult time with his uh, public approval ratings right now, um, notwithstanding what you would think otherwise would be a very good political environment for him. Yeah, it'll be a slam dunk just to reverse that course. You have nothing to lose except an election. Um, Senator, always good seeing you. Thank you.